Hi everyone, welcome back. Lastly, we finished structural analysis and shape descriptors and today we are gonna start to a new module which is feature detection and uh, we are gonna see all of these functions. Today we are start with uh, Kenny function. Kenny is very important in image processing side because it's very powerful and useful to find the edges inside the image and it's developed 30 years ago and it's still the newest one to find the images and it's developed by the name of the man is Kenny that's why the function carries that man name and uh, in this video we are gonna focus how OpenCV designed Kenny function which parameters it's taking and how we are gonna use this in our projects in our cases let's pass to the code part in this uh, video I'm gonna show the images this Lena image and this image I'm gonna use as my input images uh, my code simply just reading and now I will start to Kenny calling Kenny basically I'm just calling Kenny and I'm gonna give firstly the image image input image this input image can be X bit input image but it's, it does not have to be grayscale or any kind of for example we can give RGB in this uh, case I'm giving RGB because I'm not converting it to the grayscale so I'm gonna give first of all in uh, RGB side then uh, edges is gonna be my output which is here I'm already defined and after that threshold 1 and threshold 2 we are gonna talk about these two parameters maybe after see the results first of all we can start from these parameters we can start and leave this aperture size and the other one in the uh, default one which is 3 and false maybe we can update them after uh, in the in the other uh, examples we can update them let's start with this and see the results with imshow okay now uh, for example this is uh, calculating the edges and giving this output to us but uh, the Kenny is only giving the image output for example this is a binary image which is uh, which is including by just zeros and 255 and this is a binary image is giving us but with this image we need to use this right side image as input to the find contours which we already learned that's then we can we can get the contours inside we can get the edges inside this image as uh, as an array so we can use them but in Kenny just giving us the images first of all we need to keep this in mind and uh, let's talk about this threshold 1 and threshold 2 in the function size it's the, it's the, the explanations give us some clues some hints for example it's saying the smallest value between threshold 1 and threshold 2 is used for edge linking. The largest value is used to find initial segments of strong edges. For example, in your case, if you want to uh, find the strong edges, the clear edges, so it's better to use these two parameters is uh, far away to each other. For example, their, uh, their difference between threshold 1 and threshold 2 should be higher. Uh, in this case uh, maybe to be able to separate maybe we can create one more out let's call it out to one more name window sorry and one more Kenny the name is gonna be out to and show it with out to and in here I'm gonna use more higher for example 800 the threshold one and threshold two, the difference is higher than the first one and let's compare the results for example in here and here so the largest value you are using uh, it's gonna give you the more clear edges in here you see many uh, maybe noise we can call you see many noises many uh, unwanted uh, edges you see but in the right side is uh, make it more clear it's just finding the clear edges and giving to you for example if we make 100 1200 and you see nothing is really high it means let's make 1000 and here you see so less but the clearest edges you strongest edges you see in the right side this is the first thing and the other one uh, is suggested in many forums also according to my experiences in normal cases it's suggested to use if this is the 80 or if this is x this should be 3x it means 
three times bigger than the this one. So it suggests that according to the experiences I also see in some forums. So this is the suggested one in normal cases. For example, if you make uh, 50, this should be 150 like that. And this is threshold one and threshold two we little talked about. And let's make two of them equalize and pass to the other one. For example, aperture size. Uh, aperture size you can give from 3 to 7 and only odd numbers. For example, if you give 4, it's gonna give error in here. It's saying aperture size should be odd between 3 and 7 in function Kenny. Uh, so it's defaultly 3. For example, in here it is already 3. Uh, let's make this 5 and let's make this 3 and see the results, see the differences between them. In here, this is with the aperture 3 and this is 4. 5 sorry this is 5 so you see it's finding every detail inside image for example even you make it grayscale maybe it will yeah little decrease but same also you see it's finding every details so that's why it's suggested and the default one is 3 if you make 7 it will be more crazy to find everything inside Maybe in some uh, very detailed points, if you want to detect in your images, so maybe you can play with this aperture size. The other one, let's talk, the last one, L2 gradient. In the mathematical side, this is a meaning, uh, I also don't know, there are some formulas, but uh, in here it's also clearly saying something, indicating whether a more accurate, this is the more accurate one, but the default one, which is the false one, uh, is the default one not accurate but if you make it uh, accurate which is true in here let's make zero which is false make it one which is true and let's see the results this is the accurate one and this is the uh, this is the default one so in the right side you see uh, it's only finding the strong edges we can say this is very similar in the threshold side uh, logic but uh, it's finding just in this way so uh, L2 gradient also if you want to find the really uh, clear images you can also make this true clear edges sorry and you can make this true from false and uh, this is Kenny we very important this is also a filter we can call in this video I just wanted to start to this module with this function which is the very very important function in image processing so we are also in the image processing module you are gonna remember here and we are starting today with this uh, with this module and we are gonna continue to this one just wanted to talk about Kenny for first time okay see you in the next videos